You have already learned about equivalent fractions by now. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to find out if two given fractions are equivalent fractions. You can find out if two fractions are equivalent fractions by three different methods. The first is using cross multiplication. The second is simplifying or reducing the fractions. And the third is making the denominator of the two fractions the same. We are going to learn the cross multiplication method in this video. Other methods are discussed in other videos. Let's start by looking at an example. Our example asks us to look at these two fractions and see if they are equivalent. Are the following fractions equivalent? So are these two fractions equivalent fractions? What we're going to do in the cross multiplication method is that the, our first step is going to be to cross multiply. And so what you do is you multiply the denominator from one fraction with the numerator from the other fraction. And then similarly, you're going to multiply the denominator of the other fraction with the numerator from the first fraction. So let's get started on doing this. We're going to multiply the denominator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second. So I'll draw an arrow there to show us. And then we're going to multiply the numerator of the first with the denominator of the second. So you can see why we call this method cross multiplication. We start out then by multiplying 16 times 3. And we're going to find the answer to that. And then we are going to multiply 12 times 4 and find the answer to that. Now, if the two answers to those two multiplication problems are equal to each other, then that tells us that we do have equivalent fractions. So, I'm going to start with 16 times 3. 16 times 3 equals 48. And my second multiplication is 12 times 4. And 12 times 4 also equals 48. So you want to make sure in this that you have multiplied the denominator from the first fraction with the numerator of the second and then switch places the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second. You need to make sure that you're crossing when you multiply these numbers. And sure enough, we have 16 times 3 equals 48, and 12 times 4 equals 48. So yes, in this case, these two fractions, 12 sixteenths and 3 fourths, are equivalent fractions. So our answer to the problem is yes, and you simply need to remember that if the cross products are equal, the fractions are equivalent.